What's up scouters? So it seems that Sunni and YG are now facing new charges together. Gambling. Now I've talked about Korea's strict gambling policies in the past and how as a Korean even if you travel to a country that gambling is legal in and gamble there, you can still be punished when you're back in Korea. Confusing? Yes, I think the law is very confusing and I would say that a lot of Koreans don't even know about this law. But just to clarify something before we move on, if you leisurely gamble a small amount, the government tolerates it. If you don't do it habitually, Eventually, you end up paying a little bit of fine. However, if you gamble a large amount and do it habitually, that's where it becomes a problem. Now, after Yang yun has left his position at YG Entertainment, I'm pretty sure you guys know that he has been going through some investigations on his own. Some of them are pretty wild charges, but not really unexpected if you have been following what's happening with the Burning Sun case. But one of the new things that he has been recently charged with was gambling. He is said to have gambled in Las Vegas' MGM Hotel Casino, and in the process, Singh was also dragged back into the gambling case and now he's being reinvestigated for the charges. Now, if they sat at a regular table at the casino with everyone else who was gambling there, this shouldn't be too much of a problem because how easy would it be for you to say that you were just there gambling small amounts and doing it for fun, which then would be tolerated. But the problem here is that they gambled at the VIP lounge of the casino. So apparently, to have access to this VIP lounge, you need to give MGM about 1,500,000 US dollars ahead of time and gamble using that money. According to the reports, Yang yun has has gambled about $1 million out of his money and has lost about $600,000 US dollars in the process of 11 visits to the VIP lounge. Sung Lee also has spent about $2 million US dollars and has lost about $1,300,000 US dollars over the process of 4 visits. Now Sung Lee, whose case and his 7 previous charges have been sent to the prosecutors are now being re-summoned to the police to be investigated on his additional gambling charges as well. So what this is indicating is that there's enough room for the police to think that this wasn't done leisurely and that both of them have participated in gambling activities habitually. And according to the media reports, the Korean police with the help of Nevada's Casino Association has already gotten their information such as the number of entrances they made to the casino, the amount of times they gambled, the amount they gambled, and the number of times they won and lost. Now as you guys know, gambling with Sing has all already been mentioned before. But the difference now is that the police has an estimate of how much he actually spent there and apparently insider information from the casinos themselves which then can be used as evidence. Now like always I'm not saying that these people are guilty already, they're just facing charges right now, but more so just telling you guys what's been going on. Obviously these are still charges so we still have to wait for the police and the prosecutors to do their investigation and come up with the final charge before it goes to court. Now there's another group of people who are facing gambling charges in Korea right now. One of Korea's most famous internet streamers called BJ Cheolgu and BJ Seoyun, the girl that was mentioned in the previous JJY video, was seen gambling at a casino in the Philippines. Now unlike Seung Lee and YG they were sitting at a regular table and it looks like they simply didn't even know about this law entirely. Because what we have to know right now is that PJ Chargu is currently doing his military service as a Sangun Yebio. Regardless, all soldiers who are participating in their military service follow the military law. And gambling as a soldier is a big no-no in the military and I think everybody knows this. There's no way this guy didn't know about this. The Korean Armed Forces has already announced that they have confirmed that it is actually PJ Chargu in the picture. And so so I think he will probably face legal charges under the military law. So PJ Cheolgu, military law, but PJ Seoyun who was also gambling will probably be overlooked and tolerated because unlike Sung Lee and YG, there's room for her to say that she was just doing it leisurely. So two gambling cases popped at the same time in Korea, but the mood of the cases are very different. Of course the amount of money that Sung Lee and YG were supposedly betting at the Las Vegas casino probably plays a role. And hope you guys found it interesting that I compared it with a different gambling scandal to show you a little bit more about the very strict and unique law that we have in Korea about gambling. So if you found this interesting or I answer some of your questions, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more K-pop news and interesting information on Korea. Until then, see you next time.